the government has an opportunity to answer a question that I asked twice yesterday. This is a serious matter in the public interest that requires an answer. Who are the 11 election candidates who received hundreds of thousands of dollars funneled through the Beijing's consulate in Toronto in the 2019 election? Here. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'd like to... I'd like to remind the honourable members what the motivation of foreign interference is. There, it's not to advance any partisan ish, interest. It's to sow chaos and it is to destroy our democracy as we know it. Mr. Speaker, to be very clear, as I've testified before committee and said in this House, I did not at any time direct the Commissioner of the RCMP. In I uh, was promised a chronology on Thursday afternoon for the minister and the prime minister. ...appeared at the Public Safety Committee not that long ago, as did Minister Blair, and both have denied any uh, kind of interference in the, uh, in the investigation or in the release of, of handguns. Uh, Commissioner Lucky was quite clear when she appeared and so i i think i'll just leave it with what she said I, there certainly was no direction um flew it up to flagpole because it was a request that i got um from the minister's office and i shared with the minister that um that in fact it was going to be in the uh in the news release and it wasn't Minister Blair and the Commissioner have said there was no direction given to her. Um, there was no political interference whatsoever. I'd like to remind the Honourable Members what the motivation of foreign interference is. There, it's not to advance any partisan ish, interest. It's to sow chaos and it is to destroy our democracy as we know it. The government's right, Mr. Speaker. This isn't a partisan issue. Both Liberal and Conservative candidates are implicated in receiving these illegal funds. But we need answers, public answers in this House, so investigations can be launched by parties on both sides of this aisle, by Elections Canada, by other relevant authorities. So who are the 11 election candidates who received these illegal monies funneled by Beijing through its Toronto consulate in the 2019 election campaign? Yeah, yeah.